Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be designing this rolls form and we'll perform insert operation using C# Sharp and SQL Server database. So, right click and we'll design. We'll look up the table design for this form. If you expand this table, and we have roll ID which is auto increment. Obviously, we don't need any control for this column, but we'll need roll title and description. We will. do this stuff by automatic in the upcoming videos so we'll also will not uh, do anything with this one created by and created date we'll discuss this one in the future in our upcoming videos so we'll do role title and role description uh, as in text boxes and we'll specify static values uh, for the time being okay so role title and description so i'll select and first of all i'll select menu strip over here and i'll set as save information and i'll add a bar symbol and then i'll select set close and i'll also specify delete so i think we should set close right corner and after this okay so close save information and delete done next i'll search for label and drag it over here and next i'll search for text box and i'll select both of these and right click and go to properties and i'll specify the font size as 12 done okay so i'll set uh, the text property for this role as role title and specify colon as well and drag it over here so this is our role title and after this we need a text box for description okay so drag it press control and drag it over here or you can add another text box from here and resize little bit and right click on this play button over here and set it as multi line and increase the size of this text box okay so this is our role form the first thing i'll be coding on this close button over here double click on this one and write this dot close to close this form and next i'll set i'll change the text of this form right click on form go to properties click on form and go to properties change this roof uh, change this text from roles forms to role information okay and double click on this save information menu item and first of all i will do validation if is form valid okay so i'll generate this function right click and click on this light bulb and generate method okay so this is a validation function which will return either true or false so i'll check if role title i need to change the name of these controls as well title text box and description text box go to validation function and in this form only title is required so i'll uh, do validation for this text box only so i'll check title text box dot text dot trim is equals to string dot empty and then i'll specify message box dot show and over here i'll specify 
role title is required and then validation error and then specify buttons dot ok and icon dot error and then I'll set focus to this text box title text box dot focus and I'll return false I'll do another validation for the text box and I'll set uh, length title text box dot text dot length greater than equals to 50 and I'll set should be role title length should be less than or equal to 50 characters the purpose of this validation is to uh, show you the idea how to validate your forms so after this if any of these validation is false uh, uh, user have entered its num name so this condition will become false and user has entered uh, role title length less than 50 then uh, we are good to go so after this I'll set true because our form is now validated so next thing I'll set up a SQL server connection okay so now our form is validated and I wanna store this uh, information into the database so I'll set up using SQL connection control dot and import this namespace using system dot data dot SQL client connection object is equals to new connection and over here I'll specify my connection string but we have stored this connection string in the separate class app dot connection string and if we call this connection string class it has method connection string which is returning a connection string but this method is getting connection string from app.config file so if you open up app.config app file we have connection string stored over here so we need to call this app connection class and it will uh, call this function which will return connection string by getting from uh, app.config file so I'll name of class control dot and import the required namespace dot get connection string okay we are using uh, this using statement so uh, that any of uh, object of these SQLite or SQL commands will be automatically disposed after this I'll set SQL command cmd is equal to new SQL command and over here I will specify uh, my SQL command but we don't have any SQL command I'll not use plain text SQL statements I'll use store procedures and after this I'll create store procedure in a bit okay so now we need to create store procedure so go to SQL server uh, inside programmability tab you will find store procedure right click new and store procedure control a and delete all of these and write create procedure and then if follow convention USP user store procedure and then name of table roles and then insert new role this is not required you can name this store procedure as you want but this is the convention right USP user store procedure and then write name of your table uh, roles and then uh, write name of your store procedure so this is the insert store procedure obviously this store procedure requires some parameters and after this I'll set as begin and end now if you follow my SQL server concept tutorial then you will uh, know how to create store procedures how to write uh, SQL statements and uh, if you go to my channel you will find complete and ultimate course regarding SQL server concepts go there and uh, understand what I'm doing over here right click on roles table script and insert to new query window so this is my S insert statement cut out and paste it over here 
so I'll copy this one from here and I'll paste it over here so instead of these you can select by holding select vertical by holding shift alt and arrow up and down keyword delete and place at the right at the right single uh, symbol and I'll also specify the data types and watch or 50 and watch or let me verify this one 200 and then and watch or 50 we'll use three parameters the created by means who create this rule and we'll pass this value uh, after performing login operation and automatically the logged in username will be passed to this store procedure and will not use created date in this uh, store procedure because we'll use SQL function to get current date from the system so insert and at this time role title will, will come from here then description from here then created by from here and I forgot to write comma over here okay and insert into these values and this value will come from here role title and after this role description and after this created by look at this we are specifying three parameters and we are inserting into four columns but we have three parameters from where we get this value created date we will specify a SQL function over here get date which will uh, pass the current uh, date and time of system to be stored in the SQL server okay so this is a simple insert store procedure click on execute button over here and let me check what is missing execute it again and expand command completed successfully okay so copy store procedure name from here and paste it over here so this is our store procedure after this I'll specify cmd dot command type equals to command type dot store procedure after this I'll specify my parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value and parameter name and then this one we have three four or five parameters so first parameter we have role title we are not specifying role ID because it's an auto increment field then description after this we have this created by and you understand uh, the created date we are getting from SQL Server not from front-end application okay so we need only three parameters remove this one so we'll get a role title from our title text box dot text dot trim and we'll get description from our description text box dot text dot trim but we don't have any login functionality and we don't have value for a logged in user so we'll be setting this one as admin for the timing we'll get from somewhere and send it in our upcoming videos so after specifying parameters i'll call cmd.execute non-query and i'll specify a message box dot show role is successfully saved in the database okay and I specify caption as success and specify message box dot okay and icon dot information done okay so if you start your application again and you are looking if we start our application and by default the cursor is focused in the description text box so we should change this behavior as well go to properties select this text box and set it tab index as 0 the default tab index and after this set tab index to 1 
if you press tab uh, from keyboard uh, it will automatically focused start again look at this let me say administrator this role has all the rights to application okay click on save information uh connection execute non query requires an open and available connection the current connection state is closed i forgot to open the connection so we should open connection over here first we'll check if con dot state connection dot state not equals to connection state dot open if our connection is not all not already opened then we'll open this one con dot open this connection will be automatically closed because we are using these using statements so any object uh, will be disposed from after this using statement start application again and set it as administrator and this user this role has all our full access to our application click on save information look at this role is successfully saved in the database but after this message this form should be clear and this focus should be on this text box we'll set it uh, right now but before this let me make sure we are getting our roles in the database or not right click on roles table click on select top 1000 rows look at this we have role id 1 which is auto increment uh, incremented then administrator then this role has full access to our application created by admin because we are specifying admin as static we don't have any logged in user at this stage and after this we have defined in the store procedure get date the value for this column created date we are getting from get date sql function which is returning us a current date and time you can see over here uh, the current date and time okay so this is how you can perform insert operation using store procedure in the next video uh, sorry for this let me clear this form as well so after inserting we will create another function reset form controls then control dot and generate this function and over here I'll set title text box dot text or simply dot clear and then description text box dot clear and after this I'll set title text box dot focus okay if you start your application again and let's add another user power user not full but almost access to the application save information role is successfully saved if you click ok you can see our form is now cleared and role title text box is focus so thank you so much for watching i'll meet again in the next video take care of yourself allah is assalamu alaikum